A user by the name of Razor commented about a Wave 2 lip alternative called DiNet. After using it, I must say I like it better than Wave 2 lip. I have created a fork of the repository, made changes to the requirements file, and updated the page with the install instructions. Let's get started by first creating the Conda environment. And then clone the repository. Let's install the dependencies. You might need to have CMake installed for one of them. I will leave a link to the list of prerequisites that may be needed if anything errors for you. Next, we must install this specific version of Torch. And finally, install this version of TensorFlow. Before we can run the application, we must download a zip file from this link. Just click on the three dots on the right and click Download. Extract the downloaded zip file. Open the DINet folder from the Git clone and move this extracted folder into the root of the application. Now let's copy this command to Notepad. We will need to modify the input video file, CSV file, and input audio file values. Let's go into the examples folder. For this test, I will select the test 10 file. Laid out 10 different instances that we need to look into uh, separately as part of our investigation as to what may have taken place. Uh, and it's certain. Let's modify the command to use test 10 for the input video and test 10 for the CSV. Notice the examples folder already has a CSV file for each of the video files. For the audio, I'm going to paste in this MP3 file. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. However, this application requires the audio to be in a WAV format. I will use FFmpeg real quick to convert it. I'm going to copy the path to this folder, then open a new prompt window. I'm going to simply call FFmpeg with the input MP3 file and then specify a WAVE output file. It is done! And now we have a WAVE file for the audio. Today we will be installing WAVE. Let's modify the command to use this new WAVE file. Now let's run the command. This application looks to me like it has higher lip sync accuracy than Wave 2 lip, and it maintains the HD quality of the video without requiring an upscale. Also, the length of the audio can be longer than the video or shorter than the video, and it will still work. It is done. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the asserts folder, then into the inference results folder. Let's open the file called Facial Dubbing Add Audio. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. Great! Now let's look at how we can add our own input video. This is the other GitHub project called Open Face. We will use this to generate the CSV file that is required by the other application. Go to the Wiki and Windows installation. Simply click on the link for the 64-bit zip file. I'm going to move the downloaded zip file to a more convenient location and then extract the contents. Go into the extracted folder. Let's go back to the GitHub page. It mentions to install Visual Studio and the redistributable. I already have those. I will leave a link to the prerequisites video. Let's click on this link to go to the models section. Scroll down to manual download. We can get the models from this link. Click on the download button to download the zip file. Let's extract the contents. We will need to move the four DAT files into this model patch experts folder.
The other MAT files are not needed for anything here. Now let's go to the root of this application and launch the OpenFace offline app. This part is important as I got stuck here until I realized this. On the DINET GitHub page, it mentions which things should be checked for each menu item. If these don't match, then the CSV file that is generated will not work. For the record menu item, it should only have 2D landmarks and tracked images slash videos. For the recording settings menu item, it should have just the masked aligned image. For open face setting, just the use dynamic AU models. For the view, just the show video. For the face detector, the MTCNN. And for landmark detector, the CE-CLM. For my video, I'm going to use one from the Tunify app. Click File Open Video. I'm going to select that video. Now it is going to go through and process this video and generate the CSV file. Let's take a look. Go into the Processed folder. And here we have our CSV file. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the Examples folder of the other application. Now we have the CSV file placed here. I am also going to copy the video file here. Now let's modify our command to use this video file and this CSV file. Keep the same audio and run the command. It is done. Let's take a look. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. I am liking this application. There are instructions on the GitHub on how to train for perhaps even more refined results. It would be nice if these were combined into one so that the CSV file auto-generated and gets read by the application without needing to switch between two apps. That could be a fun programming exercise I might do in the future at some point. That is all for now. Enjoy!